again guys, today I've actually decided to sit down and make a video. I'm now sat in my apartment in Notting Hill filming for the first time, so it's really exciting. Um, today I am going to do a monthly ferrets video and I have some things I'm actually really excited to show you. But first I have to mention two things. First of all, it's I live in the middle of London and it's super noisy in the background so there's nothing I can do about it and it annoys me so much but we'll just go with it and also I don't have the fancy YouTube equipment lightning whatever they use so I have to do use normal daylight in which means cloud comes the sun comes back and sometimes I look like a ghost and sometimes I look like a vampire so <laughs> we'll just have to go with it. So to structure this today, I am going to categorize it into four categories. So we're going to do one with makeup, we're going to do one with fashion, we're going to do one with skincare slash hair care, and then we're going to do a category called others. And that's going to be a few random bits as well as highlight and downer of the month. So without keeping on bobbling as I always do, we can just go ahead and start. And I'm going to do makeup first and for the first one I'm not going to show you just one product but it's two products I use together and it's these two. If you saw my previous um, My Favourite Makeup Products video you would have seen another foundation from Bourjois and I still don't know how you say it but I don't care. <laughs> and it's called 123 Perfect. This one has more coverage, but it doesn't have that dewy look that I want. And that's why I loved so much about the other one. But right now, my skin is not loving the season. My skin is being really naughty. So I really want that dewy skin. But that goes away when you get coverage foundation. So what I do is I have lit this little magic thing. This is the NYX. Um, Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. So what I literally do is I just tap some of both on my arm and mix them together. So you get the shimmer in the high coverage foundation. So you get the dewy, lovely glow within skin without having to use a light foundation. But this is what I have on today. This is what I've used the past two or three months, literally. And the best thing, they're both really affordable. I think this is around £10 and this is I think it's under £10. So now we got that out of the way, we can move on to the next one. I don't know how many of you actually use setting powders because it can be hell and it can be heaven at the same time. I know sometimes when I use setting powder, it sets my makeup but my face just ends up looking so dry. But I still like, especially under my eyes because I crease so badly. I've used the Laura Mercier but first of all it's really expensive and second of all it doesn't really work that well on me I still get kind of uh, dry but then I discovered this thing and um, it's called the RCMA did I say that right yeah <laughs> the RCMA powder and it's so finely milled and like I said especially if you tend to look a bit dry with other setting powders this one is amazing your skin is literally like silk um, I want to show you because this one is really big and I think it's around £15 and the Laura Mercier is like literally this small and it costs over £20 so I think I'm actually going to show you what the Laura Mercier looks like compared to this so bear with me for a second. Got it! So look at those next to each other. You can see how much there is in this compared to this. This one is better and cheaper. This one is tiny deal but you can't get them in store at least not in the UK or Norway in which I guess most of the people watching this will be from I get mine on Amazon so I'm gonna link that below so you can get it if you want to and we're done with all the makeup for now I always feel like inside I'm feeling like I'm being so effective but if I went behind the camera now and saw how long I've actually been talking for it's probably like 10 minutes um, but we can move on now to the next category, which will be fashion. So a little story behind that. Um, I normally don't shop every month. 
I have a lot of clothes uh, <laughs> and I don't need more stuff and this summer I got rid of literally 70% of my clothes I sold some I gave some away to charity just got rid of loads and I was supposed to get some more stuff when I came over but I kind of tried to stay sensible but then I kind of realized that I've gone to uni for three years I've finished uni and I'm going into a professional environment and I'm a very much like leather jacket and jeans kind of girl and to say the least that just doesn't go into the professional category so I went on a mission to get more clothes that were appropriate for more professional environments and it was so much harder than I thought I just I just wanted to buy another leather jacket but I tried to kind of find a middle way of using my own stuff as well as getting stuff that was more appropriate so I found a few things that I really want to show you so I'm gonna show you what they look like the first one I am going to show you is from Zara and it's this beautiful skirt it's so chic it's really nice because it goes into your waist here so it really slims you down as well as going like ever so slightly out uh, it's not real leather but the forks leather that Sarah uses is so nice and I am not joking when I tell you that I think this is the item I've been stopped the most on the street or given most compliments to on the street of anything I've ever worn because it's just like so simple yet still chic and it goes with literally anything so far I've liked really styling it with a high neck jumper a tweeter jacket and high knee boots and you're just good to go but we're gonna move a little bit away from the entire black because I actually got something coloured as well and I'm really excited to show you this one because it's beautiful perhaps maybe some of you have seen me wear this on my Instagram but it's this one and it is absolutely stunning and um, this one is from Sister Jane it's kind of mustard yellow lace with the black, it's kind of, ooh, I don't know how to explain it, black details here, but within the black details you have shimmer in the lace. I, I'm going to try and show you, I don't know if you can see it. And in the arm here you have the gold, black and white details as well as having like the white ruffle details. So there's quite a lot in one shirt here. It's It's not a simple one, it's really like a statement one, but you can just throw on just a black pair of jeans, normal jeans, just make everything else simple and it literally just makes your entire outfit. And for the last one in the fashion category I'm gonna show you, let us see, this one, oh my god, I was going to show you this one and I'm holding it upside down. Let's just start all over again. Okay, this one is a necklace, but more uh, also a scarf. You know like how the really thin, slinky scarves are really popular? Well, I'd say this is like um, a mix of a necklace and those kinds of scarf. It's in sequence. You have the bow hair, and you have these hanging down. You can wear it in daytime, but what I really like about it is, let's say you're doing something in daytime, kind of dressed down, and then you're doing something in the evening, and you can just throw this on and it just makes the entire outfit. I love the kind of pieces where you can just throw in one thing and you're done. It's from, did I say it was from Topshop? I don't know, I don't know. Mm. My memory's bad, but anyways, it's from Topshop. Is it just me or do I kind of sound like a grandma? I don't know if I'm really, like my throat is really dry, but I sound like, I don't know. Uh, Anyways, we can move on now to the skincare category. I was going to move on, but sorry, I'm just so, so dry. I need to go and get some water first, so. But where was I? Yeah, let's go on to skincare. And I have raved about this before, so if you've seen it, I'm sorry. But this one is just so amazing that I have to share it with you. Um, you know how popular and a lot of us use the clay masks? But what they tend to do is they dry out our skin as well as cleansing. This is the first one I've ever tried that is really clay and cleanses. But as well, it does not dry out your skin. And I'm not surprised I love this because it's from Kiehl's. And Kiehl's is my absolute favourite skincare brand. It's called the Rare uh, Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. Um, living in a big city, it's so dirty out. And 
regardless of where you are, you should really deep cleanse your skin. But especially here, I remember the other week I went out just on the street doing some errands and I had no makeup on. Looking like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I came back two hours later, I kind of washed my face and I swear the pad I used was black after and I hadn't even worn any makeup. So it's really dirty out and so important to cleanse your skin. So the way I use this is I steam my skin first and you're probably thinking, but isn't that what you do when you go to like a spa? No. You can do it at home, you just boil some water, put your, what do you call it, your head over and literally let it steam your face, open your pores, then take on the mask so it can really go deep into your pores and cleanse out all the dirt you need to get out. So this one is really amazing. On to the next one. I really wanted to take this in because I've really understood how important an eye cream is, but the thing is, eye creams are so damn expensive. I've spent so much money on eye creams. And I was so excited when I finally found one that was affordable, yet still really good. And it's this one. Um, this one is from Origins, which is all natural. and The same as Kiehl's, all natural, good for sensitive skin. I have really sensitive skin if I haven't mentioned that. Um, it's super like smooth in the texture, very thin. I know like some of the eye creams I've used previously can be quite thick. And they are really good too, but this is just like super thin and it actually um, contains caffeine. So, you know, wakes you up one of your five coffees a day. I don't know. All I know is it works really well and it's only about £20, whereas many other eye creams cost a uh, mortgage, literally. So that was that one. I'm going to go away from the skincare and I'm going to go over to my favourite thing in this entire video. Okay, I need, it's literally gone. I need to kind of open it like that. This one is a hair mask and I'm gonna tell you the story behind it because this summer, I stupidly enough decided to dye my hair pink. And I was so excited to do it. I wanted to do it for like two years. So I went to get the dyeing thing in London when I was here this summer because I know there's a brand called Bleach London. They do like blue, grey, purple, pink. So I got that one but they had like three for two in boots so I decided yeah I'll try their hair mask um, too. And I dyed my hair, back to dyeing my hair. I dyed my hair pink and I was so excited but it looked horrible. It was. I was so disappointed because I thought I was gonna actually going to look good with it. Am I allowed to say that? I thought it was going to look really cool, but it didn't. It looked horrible. But anyways, I kind of got this mask for free with it, and I decided to just randomly try it. And oh my god, like, oh my god. This thing is insane. This one is just so replenishing. I'd say especially if you have very damaged hair, coloured hair, use a lot of hair straighteners, it really builds up your hair again. I use this, ever since I discovered it, I use it twice a week and sometimes I even sleep with it on but it just, I cannot even explain how good it is um, and it's only six pounds and I've already gone through, I think this is the fifth one I've gone through since like July. So now we've gotten through literally everything, uh, we only have the others category again. I used to do like a weekly thing on my blog where I did like highlights, songs, blah, 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 blah. And this month I decided on the video here, I'm just gonna do highlight of the month and downer of the month. So we can, should we start with the good or the bad? I normally, what do you do? I normally always tell people to tell me the bad news first, but I think we're gonna do the good news first today. <laughs> the highlight, I. I've done a lot of fun things, but I think that nothing tops moving to Notting Hill with two of my best friends in a new apartment, in, in my favourite city in the world, it just literally couldn't have been better. But now we can, it's kind of sad that I'm ending the video with the down part, but anyways, we can move on to this part because I actually really want to mention it. So if I 
have a little weird body language, like repeat myself and stuff, it is probably because I find it a bit uncomfortable to talk about. I, as much as I show my personality, I never deliver personal stuff about myself. But if it, like I said, if it can help some of you, I will tell you about it. Okay, straight when I was doing the last part of my video, my camera decided to run out of battery. So if everything or anything is looking a bit different, either the angle, angle, the angle or the lightning, that's why. But where was I? Yeah. As I said, it's a bit uncomfortable for me to talk about this, but I'm just going to jump straight into it. So, six weeks ago, I decided to change brands of the pill I was on. And it was to improve my skin, so I thought I'd get the pill and improve my skin at the same time. Sounds legit. Um, without seeing the correlation though, I got really, like slowly, I got really depressed and like it wasn't just the fact that I was feeling a little bit down it was as in I couldn't see if someone asked me what makes you happy I couldn't tell them and if someone asked me okay then what makes you sad and I would be like I don't know I'm no clue I was just literally dead inside even my roommate said to me what has happened to you like you've literally lost your personality and I was I was just so numb and it was honestly the worst feeling I can't even explain to you how bad it actually was I remember like two nights I actually fell asleep like this just desperately hoping I would wake up in the morning feeling better that's how horrible it was I I cannot even explain to you the feeling I had inside it was all I can say is that I'm not going to compare this to those who are actually depressed but I sympathise with you so much because that feeling inside is... Yeah, I, I have no words. I just didn't have any motivation to do anything. Um, but I really wanted to figure out what was going on, blah blah blah, so I tried to speak to some people and some people were like, have you checked maybe it could be a pill and I was like... Right. Yeah. And then I went and did some research on the brand I'm using, which is used, not using, definitely not using anymore, mm. uh, is Yasmin. And again, it depends on person. Some people can take it and some people can't. And it said that the main side effect was depression. So clearly, desperately wanting to not feel that way, I, I was willing to do anything to get better. And so I jumped straight off, and I'm not even joking with you, literally four days after, I started feeling like myself again. So ever so, like, not like that, but ever so, like, slowly in the process of feeling better. And it was just, like, it was just crazy how some hormones could change my mind and body like that, because I gained, like, in a month I gained like four or five kilos and that's a lot for me being five foot two and so if I'm looking a bit, you know, a little bit rougher in the edges that's why <laughs> yeah all I'm trying to say is just be aware that if you're in the same position as me it could be the pill, it could be something else and I just want you to think through it before you go on the pill with a lot of hormones because it's just not feeling it's just not worth feeling the way that I did in any sense. I don't, I don't even want my worst enemy. Although I don't even have any enemies, but <laughs> I, do, I wouldn't want anyone to feel the way I did. But yeah, that was today's little story. I don't think I have anything more to share with you, other than thanking you so much for watching this video. I really, really, really enjoy making them. I don't know if you can like see how engaged I am in everything I do, but I, I just love it so much. Everything from planning, making, editing, it's just so much fun. So hopefully I'll have the opportunity to make some more videos in the future. So stay tuned for that. And again, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you very, very soon, hopefully. <laughs> Bye! So I was going to show you two things and I just realised that one of the things I ate I was <laughs> I was going to show you my favourite popcorn at the moment but I just realised that I ate them so it's not happening guys.